If you've been birding in the Neotropics for any amount of time, you know the joy that flycatchers can bring, but also the terror that they can cause almost simultaneously. Of the 78 species of tyrant flycatchers in the birdie country of Costa Rica, many of them look terrifyingly similar. At least for those who aren't that familiar with them yet. In part two of our little mini-series on identifying Costa Rican flycatchers, we're going to have a closer look at a genus of flycatchers that regularly give me headaches. The Mayarcos flycatchers. It's a group of pretty conspicuous birds that look fairly similar at first glance and is often easier identified by voice than by appearance. Luckily, of the total of 22 Mayarcos flycatchers, only five species regularly occur in Costa Rica. Let's start with the most widespread one, the dusky cap flycatcher. The dusky cap flycatcher can be found year round and almost anywhere in the country, except for around its highest peaks. At 15 centimeters or 6 inches, it's the smallest of the local Mayarcos flycatchers. Apart from its size, also note the dark contrasting crown, its slender and all dark bill, and the lack of wing bars that we will come to see in all the other members of the genus. Its call has been well described by Dean and Garrigas as somewhat mournful. The great crested flycatcher is noticeably larger, measuring in at 20 centimeters or 8 inches. Its colors are brighter and more contrasting than the other flycatchers, and it shows a pinkish base at the lower mandible, that's the lower part of the bill. It has rufous in wings and tail. Note the very prominent wing bars. Here is the bird in comparison to the dusky cap flycatcher. The great crested flycatcher is unique among Costa Rica's Mayarcus flycatchers in the fact that it's a migrant. It can be seen in the winter months throughout most of the country in a variety of habitats, again with the exception of the highest points. Here is its call. Now on to the two very similar flycatchers of the Pacific Northwest, the brown crested and the nuttings flycatchers. Of the two, the brown crested flycatcher is slightly larger, about the same size as the great crested flycatcher. However, as the name suggests, its crest is browner and its gray chest and yellow belly are paler. The bill is all black with no pinkish base. Unfortunately, all of this also holds true for the slightly less common Nuttings flycatcher, although the latter is a bit smaller. The best way to tell them apart, however, is the call. So let's listen to them in comparison. The fifth and final bird in the quintet of Mayarcus flycatchers in Costa Rica is the Panama flycatcher. It's moderately common along the central and southern Pacific coastline of the country, where it finds its preferred habitat, mangrove forests. The Panama flycatcher can be readily told apart from the other species by the lack of rufous on both wings and tail. Its call is similar to the one of the dusky cap flycatcher, sometimes followed by a trill. All right, I hope these flycatchers are now a little less confusing than they seemed before you watched this video. Let's summarize and let's look at the birds next to each other. So if you're preparing for a birding trip to Costa Rica and found this helpful, leave us a like and a comment, it would mean a lot. Thanks for watching, see you next week and happy birding. Ciao!